so now let's register a new users okay so for that purpose first of all we will enable the authentication click on get started and then come here to the sign in method and click on add new provider button and then here you will see this email password okay this one click on that and enable this and click save so you see that email password is enabled now click on build okay we have enabled the authentication with email and password then comes the real-time database click on real-time database then click on create database then click on next start in lock mode enable so now as we have enabled the authentication real-time database now we have to write the code to authenticate the user first and then save the user information to the real-time database go to the sign up screen dot dot file and here what we need to do we need to register the user so above the widget build let's create a new method by the name register new user and this method will be asynchronous as we have to wait for the response from the firebase authentication that is when a new user is created so we will call this method from here we will start displaying the dialog which is our loading bar dialog so we can say show dialog barrier dismissible false and then context will be the context of our sign up screen and then after that we can say builder context and we can call our loading dialog to which we have to pass the message text so we will just say that registering your account put a comma and first we display this dialog then after the show dialog we can now uh, create user in the firebase authentication so we can say user user let's give it name as user firebase first add parenthesis and then after this parenthesis you can write dot user just like this and put semicolon okay now inside this parenthesis here we can say wait firebase or dot instance dot create user with email and password now it need two parameter that is the email and password so we have to pass to this create user with email and password two parameters first the email then password so what it will do this create user with email and password it will create a new user account that is inside the firebase authentication firebase authentication is basically here okay here you will see user authentication that is email and password the debt creation on which that is created and then after it uh, let's say also an error, an error can occur so let's say if any error occur then what we will do in that case we can say dot catch error we can say error message we will get that error message and we have to display this error message to the user So using our C methods, 
we can display a snack bar and the message text will be our error message and that's it this is the authentication part to create user in firebase authentication after comes the part where we will save this new user account which is created we will save this information alongside with the user phone and the user complete information to the real-time database to our database so for that purpose after this we can say first we have to make sure that if it is successful then we have to close the uh, loading bar the loading uh, you can say the progress bar or the loading dialog using navigator.pop context okay similarly also if any error occur we want to close the dialog box using this line of code we can close that and here we have to add the condition if context is not mounted then simply return so let's save the user information to the database for that purpose we have to create database reference and we can say users reference firebase database dot instance dot reference dot child we will have a parent child by the name users and inside this users main parent we will save the users all user information that is all new users who will create their accounts okay and each user will have their own unique id and under that unique id for each user we will have the user information that is each user will have its own unique id under which the user information will be saved so using this unique id we can basically recognize the user okay so as you know that this result we assign to the user firebase that is when the user is created successfully inside the firebase authentication then remember a unique uid is assigned automatically to that user so that uid which is the user identification number a unique number we can get that uid using this user firebase so we can simply say that user firebase dot uid okay so this is our reference for the new user that is inside the user's parent node the new user information we will save under the user unique id so as we have the database reference now we can save the information but first we need that information which information we want to save so for that we will create a user data map and the first thing that we will save is the name of the user so by the key name we have to save it by this key name okay this is the key and the value of it we write after the colon for example the value of this is inside the user name text editing controller so key value combination it will save in the database in the same way then after comes the email please use the same key names okay so that later you do not get confused then comes the email so the email we can get from the email text writing controller and then we have the user phone so you can say phone so user phone text writing controller and then of course the ID of the user we will save which will be ID and the ID we can get from user firebase.uid one more thing that we will save alongside with this information is the account status either the account is blocked or approved so we will give it the key name block status by default at the start the value of this will be no 
that is the account will be approved at the start okay but let's say if the user commit any uh, that is if the user misuse the app then the admin can block this user okay and of course we are going step by step that something that we will implement in the admin panel as well just like you guys see in the introduction video of this course so for now uh, when I, whenever a new user account is created by default the user will have an approved account as you know the block status is no which means the user is not blocked the user is uh, a new account and it is an approved account and let me tell you block status when it has a value no it means the account is approved and if the block status is yes then it means the user account is blocked by the admin okay just remember that so anyways as we have the user data map that is the user information we have now so using our reference which is our users reference we can simply put the data that is save the data so we can say dot set and pass the user data map to it so it will save the information to the database now the next thing is when the account is created successfully where we want the user to go so when the account is created successfully we want the user to go to the main app that is to the main screen or you can say to the home page so right click on lib new we will create a new folder by the name pages and then right click on pages new create dot file and this will be our first page which will be home page home underscore page okay home underscore page material dot dot stateful widget this is our home page for now we just display this home page okay inside the text at the center of our home page of course later we will change so anyways now after the when we save the user information successfully to the database then we are going to send the user to the page which is our home page so we can say material page root and our page name is home page now we will test our application but before doing that first we have to give uh, permissions that is set the rules for read and write to our database so click on this rules and we must allow read and write to our database that is to save new information or any information to this real time database and to retrieve so click on after clicking on the publish button this are now set now we can test our application so let's install the app on our phone our app is running now let's go to registration and let's create a new user let's say his name is Muhammad Ali then his phone number an email let's say the user password is you can set any password you want now according to the code which I explained first it will create a user inside the Firebase authentication okay here so now when I click on the sign up button registering your account the user is created for example now if you refresh you will see email this is the user unique identification number or you can say unique UID this is the ID now then if you go to the real-time database then according to the code we save information for each new user under his unique UID inside the main uh, users node and this is the information which we save so now if you come here to the database then you see that 
a parent users node is created under which we have the user unique ID and under that ID the user information is saved. Let's say if there now you create further new users then each user will have their own unique ID just like this and under that the user information will be saved like this okay. So as you can see this is the user unique UID you can confirm it from here which you can see okay. So yeah our registration is successful. Now if you want of course you can create further new users.